The university city of Wroclaw is the capital of Lower Silesia and often ranks among the most livable places in Europe. Wroclaw's past is unbelievably complex, and over the last 1,000 years it has come under the control of eight different kingdoms and empires. Under the Habsburg monarchy in the early modern age Wroclaw gained much of its Baroque architecture and cultural institutions like a university that has produced nine Nobel Prize winners. Today we share the top 10 best things to do in Wroclaw so you can plan a trip and experience all the exciting attractions and activities this beautiful city has to offer. Starting with number 10, Old Town. During the siege of Breslau Wroclaw was almost flattened, which only makes the skyline of church spires and Baroque gabled townhouses all the more astonishing. The Market Square and Cathedral Island have to be your priorities, but Wroclaw will also reward people who just want to wander and see what they can find. Plaque Salmi is a delight for its non-stop flower market and as St. Elizabeth, the city's tallest church, with a tower that you can climb if you've got the energy to burn. A little way up from there is maybe the best preserved street in the city. Stair Jackie is in the old butcher's quarter and has a continuous row of buildings from the 1600s and 1700s. At number 9 is the Rheineck. At 3.8 hectares, Wroclaw's Market Square is among the largest, not just in Poland but all of Europe. Like the rest of the old town, the Market Square has almost the same layout as it did when it was planned in the middle of the 13th century. A lot of the architecture, including the rows of colorful tenements that frame the square, needed heavy restoration after the Second World War. The pillory just next to the town hall dates to 1492 and had to be pieced back together. This, along with the Straj Fountain from 2000 and the statue of writer Alexander Fredro, is one of the three meet-up locations of choice for friends in Wroclaw. At number 8, Ostrotumsky. The oldest part of Wroclaw cropped up on what used to be an island in the Oder. By the 19th century, the arm of the river separating it from the bank was closed off to prevent flooding. When Ostro Tumsky was first developed in the 10th century, the river created a natural defense, and the first brick buildings arrived in the middle of the 12th century. The quarter is one of the prettiest for walks, with a church at almost every turn and the way lit by genuine gas lamps at night. If you come at dusk you can watch the old-time lamp lighter illuminating the streets. At number 7, Old Town Hall. Standing at an angle on the market square, the Old Town Hall is a group of Gothic buildings bundled together in one complex. As Wroclaw developed from the end of the 13th century, new wings were fixed on to account for the political and economic changes taking place in the city over the next 250 years. On the late Gothic East facade, look for the astronomical clock dating to 1580. Inside is a free museum detailing the history of the building and with exhibitions on aspects of life in Wroclaw, like the city's tram network. And you can also check out the plush council chamber upstairs and the merchant's hall on the ground floor. At number 6 in our list, Raklowice Panorama. The Battle of Raklowice took place on April 4, 1794, resulting in a Polish victory in the ultimately doomed Kosciuszko uprising against Russia. To commemorate the 100th anniversary of the battle the Lviv-based artist Jan Stika began a 15x 114-meter cycloramic painting and invited other famous artists of the day to help him complete it. The panorama, riding a wave of Polish nationalism, was a raging success and was on show in Lviv until after the Second World War when it was brought to Wroclaw. Its patriotic subject matter in the days of the Soviet Union meant it didn't see the light of day until 1985. At number 5, Wroclaw University. The main building of the city's reputable university doubles as a museum. 
This institution, taking over from a Jesuit college, was founded by the Holy Roman Emperor Leopold in 1702. One of the must-sees is the extravagantly decorated Baroque Hall, a la Leopoldina, with a ceiling fresco, gilded stucco, sculpted cherubs and portraits of the university's founding fathers. Also extremely rich is the Oratorium Marianum, now the university's music hall, while the mathematical tower is the old astronomic observatory, with a 42-meter tower and a meridian line on its floor. At number 4, Royal Palace. Frederick the Great chose this Baroque palace as his residence after Prussia took over Silesia in the 1740s. Over the next century each Prussian king would make extensions and add his own touches, from Rococo to Neoclassical and Neo-Renaissance. The building was badly damaged in the war, and after the most recent round of restorations became the venue for Wroclaw City Museum. You can get up to speed on the complicated 1,000-year history of the city, ponder a wealth of artifacts and view the palace's sublime interiors. At number 3 in our list, Wroclaw Fountain. This monument by the UNESCO-listed Centennial Hall is Poland's largest fountain, covering one full hectare. It was completed in 2009 to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the first free elections in post-war Poland, and has a long, ivy-clad pergola around its perimeter. The fountain is equipped with 800 programmable lights that can change color, 300 adjustable water jets and three nozzles that shoot flames into the air. Be here in the evening from May to September on the stroke of the hour for a dazzling show that mixes light, dancing jets of water and music. At number 2, Centennial Hall. Raised in 1913 for the 100th anniversary of the defeat of Napoleon at the Battle of Leipzig, the Centennial Hall is a technical marvel from the end of Wroclaw's German era. Built at enormous expense and designed by the city architect Max Berg, this exhibition hall showed just what could be achieved with reinforced concrete. The Centennial Hall has a maximum capacity of 11,000, under a dome 69 meters high and 42 meters in diameter. Check out the number one places in our list, Skzitniki Park. East of the Old Odor, the Skzitniki Park is a 100-hectare expanse of woodland that has attracted ramblers in Wroclaw since the 18th century. One of the first English landscape parks on the European continent was laid out here in 1783 by the German commander of the Wroclaw garrison. In the same celebrations that produced the Centennial Hall in 1913, a Japanese garden was planted in the park. This was restored in 1994 and is a genuine piece of Japanese culture in Europe. Now it's time to hear from you what's your favorite things to do in Wroclaw. Is there something we missed let us know in the comments section below and don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to Greenable if you haven't already clicked the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.